Okay, uh, here's another tutorial for the parametric sh shelf. Okay, so this one we already created from pre previous video. Uh, it will automate if we place here bracket space, let's say 1000. And then if we place um, width or yeah, then maybe 1500. It will still place to see, and then if you place here, if you make it smaller, show uh, minimum bracket space, let's say 500, then it will create three. Okay, so let's uh, make another situation uh, for this one. What if I want to, to move up from this one? I want to move above for this one above the with parametric array going up what I have to do how to do it right so in the front view so you want this one CE and then you want, you want to move it parametric array here from here here and here and also it will be automated and di divided so it's easy so this one okay what you need to do is first is this one okay this one you need to save us this one to another another family okay why because so if you check this one then i will ungroup this one uh cancel add group okay this is a uh, imported family who's uh what you call this this is the bracket okay this is the family here uh in hosted or oh, no 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 in host family i don't know if i'm correct but this one is if you edit the family so this is the actual family not a group uh, let's close this one so you must convert this one, this family, uh, this uh, element here, this countertop, to same with this uh, shell bracket, an actual family, okay? Which already save us, and this is the family. This is now the family, okay? Um, so I already save us and then we will load this one to the actual project here. So I think it's loaded. Uh, so this one is loaded here already, right? You see. Next thing to do is you need to um, align and then lock the parameters like here. You can maybe here. And then you lock all the information here. Shelf with, then you lock it with the actual parameter in this uh, in this family. So we imported this family here inside so that we can have an array up. Okay. So if you we go here. Okay. This one reference okay. make it lower. You see that and then here shaded. Okay, this one showing out wireframe frame and this one it just temporarily move it here, this join. And then you align from here. Okay. Uh, okay. And then, then this one, you select and then you select the designated parameter. So you can lock this one, shelf width, with shelf width also, so that it will automate. Support inset. And then you select also support inset. 
and then shelf depth and then you select also shelf depth okay and then minimum bracket spacing minimum bracket spacing okay okay and then press okay then it will automate now same size when you control here when you control the actual parameters okay I'll, i will show you what i mean and then align How come it's not moving? Ah, I know. Okay, MB. Just move it manually. You can also do that. Uh, okay, we go to the 3D view. See, see? This one. So, whenever I change here, when, when I change here the left shelf, uh, shelf with let's say 3000 it will automate also okay you got it okay then press okay so this one we can delete now because if it, okay no need for this one and then in front view you can uh, pick new for plane uh, this one in that work plane and pick a plane then you can this one I can select this one pick, pick new plane for plane okay ah uh, Here. okay so now they are the same so I can go to this 3d view okay see here so this is now the act actual link uh, imported family so when I select here 1500 it will change okay the same the same uh, approach Okay, so uh, our time now is 7 minutes, uh, halfway to our 15 minutes uh, co coverage, video capturing. Anyway, so let's go get into it. From here, okay, so this one, uh, you can um, copy ER. Okay, and then align. Let's align it here. So you have now two array. So I will place this one. Um, add parameter. Number of um, countertop. Counter top. Then press OK. So you have now the parameter. So this one will be the. Uh, we add another parameter. Height. Shelf height. Or, or S only. Okay. Okay. Let's complete shelf height okay so you have this one so when I change the shelf height to 1500 okay and also this one if I change uh, let's check uh, number counter tap to 4 like why it's not working uh-huh Ah, yeah, it's working. So it's in the wrong, wrong um, category. It should not append to end. 
remove this one okay so when I select again and then press number of countertop set four it will be inside okay so you have now this one so what you what will you have to do is divide now this one okay so shelf height okay uh, shelf height shelf height minimum mm -hmm. so you just have to copy the other uh, beam process parameter that they created from the horizontal bracket from here so it's it's similar similar process so think okay we'll do it here okay so if i go here from you okay and then let's check here so from here I just uh copy here and create create a minimum bracket space and then you create new one mean uh, seat top countertop um, sp spacing space okay and then press ok so you have me me means stop and then you have also shelf height okay is equal to shelf width and set that one you don't need minimum bracket space you have already actual bracket space okay then you place also i sorry you place also actual setup space okay uh, i think uh, this one is okay then number of brackets we have already so what you need to do is just copy this one From here, uh, okay, here, number of brackets, minimum bracket space, actual bracket space, cut, copy, actual bracket space, actual countertop space, you paste it here, Sh uh, shelf width, instead of shelf width, you type shelf height, okay, minus two support inside, then this one is no, not needed, because you no, no support inset okay so this this one remove this one the number of bracket minus one yeah this one is needed so okay you this one sit down you copy c tab space 300 plus one apply okay so there you go you can have now your parametric going up um let's go to here so when i change here uh shelf height to two meters or maybe let's say bigger for uh warehouse let's say six meters and then spacing will be one meter okay and then you apply so, yeah. so you can also have that going above so again if you want to place this one similar process you just place it here and it will automate unlock from here so you can do all that also. so yeah i think i have only one minute for that one so when i change this one now uh, let's say eight meters then 1500 and then Minimum bracket space will be 1,000 and then shelf width will be, let's say, 3,000. So it will change, okay? It will change as well. So I think the bracket space is 500. Okay. So same process. You just apply it from this one. You just place it here. And then array again. And then uh, I think that will do it. Or you can also array going up instead of, okay, I think you get my point. So that's it.